In this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect a Porkbun domain to Cloudflare pages. This will be a very simple and easy to follow video. And if you follow everything and do what I say, then you'll have your domain connected. So here's what we're going to do. So first open up Cloudflare, also open up Porkbun. Now on Cloudflare, you need to go ahead and scroll down and then go to Compute Workers click workers and pages and I'm assuming you've already got an app or a website deployed you're going to need to click on visit and open it as you can see I've just got a very simple to do list page so we can put here record video and as you can see this is working now we're going to keep this app open because we're going to need this URL later so just go ahead and keep that open now in the workers and pages page go to your app name and click on it and it will then take you into the back end of your app or website. From here, you can click on custom domains and then we can click set up a custom domain. Here we can then add a custom domain. So go to Porkbun and find your domain. I'm going to go account domain management and here we'll find a domain to connect. So we'll connect this one here, knowledgebasedtutorial.com. So I'm going to copy it. Then we'll go back to Cloudflare and I'll just simply paste it in here. Now we've done that, we can click on continue and begin DNS transfer. Now what we're going to need to do is add a couple of DNS records. This is going to be very simple stuff, so just follow along here. So go ahead and paste in your domain again once more in here, and then click on manually enter DNS records. You can quick scan for DNS records, but if you don't have them added already, you're going to need to add them in Porkborn anyway. So just choose manually enter DNS records. We'll enter them in Cloudflare. We'll do it all on one page so it's much easier. So enter your domain, click manually enter DNS records, then click continue. Then you're going to need to choose a plan once it loads. So I'm going to choose here the free plan. We'll click select plan. You can choose whatever plan you need and then it will take you to the next step where we need to add two CNAME records. So we are here on manual entry. Again, this is going to be very easy. We go to add record, we go type CNAME, then we type here www, and then for the target, you need to go to the app or the website that you've deployed that you want to connect your domain to. You need to copy the URL up here and then paste it into the target. Now remove everything else except from the actual base URL. So here we've got to do video.pages.dev to do video.pages.dev keep proxy status enabled and then click save and then that should add that cname record great so now we'll add the second one add record type cname for this time though in name you want to paste in or type at and then for the target paste in the exact same url so that's cname at to do video.pages.dev as it says here then click save what we're essentially doing here is we're connecting our domain, at like our root domain and www.ourdomain. So we've added these two CNAME records. Now, if you've already got any CNAME records which might already be here, delete them if you can because they are going to conflict. It probably won't even let you add them. So just make sure you delete any conflicting records. Those could be a CNAME record or an A record. If it doesn't let you add both of these domains, you're going to need to delete one just so you can add both of these. Now, once you've added both of these, it will say invalid name servers. So go to the domain overview in the top left hand corner. Now, once you're here, you need to go to your DNS provider. Make sure DNSSEC is turned off. Now, this should be turned off by default. Now, to disable DNSSEC, you go to your domain, you click on details here. And then here you've got Porkbun DNS. Uncheck this and make sure it's turned off. So make sure it's red. So that should be off by default, to be honest. So just make sure this is red and turned off. Now what we're going to do is we're going to update the name servers. To do that, you want to go to NS under your domain. Click on that and it will open up the Porkbun name servers. Delete them and then go back to Cloudflare. And you can copy the first one and you can paste it in here. You can copy the second one and you can paste it in here. Now you can go ahead and click on Submit. Click OK. And there you go, you've now updated the name servers. Just click on it again and just make sure. Okay, so now we've done that. So now we'll go back to Cloudflare and we can just simply refresh. Now what we're waiting for now is this to go from invalid name servers to active. This could take up to 48 hours, so be patient. 
So be honest though, the times I've done this, it, it's taken maybe five, ten minutes. But just wait, I'd probably wait up to an hour, and then if it doesn't update in an hour, come back in 48 hours. But I'll just wait here, and I'll be back once it's updated. Okay, so it's been five minutes, we're now active, and we now need to go ahead and do one more thing. So next, we go back to the Cloudflare dashboard, and then you're pretty much done from here. You go to Compute Workers, Workers and Pages, find your app or website you deployed, then go to Custom Domains, then click Set Up Custom Domain, and type in your domain two times more. So first, we'll copy in the base domain, click Paste, we'll click Continue, and then it should enter this window configure dns because we've already added these records we can just click activate domain it's essentially doing the same thing as what we already added so then once that one has been added do that once more but instead of the root domain you type in www dot paste in your domain click continue and then again confirm this it's going to do the exact same thing as what i told you to do manually but i don't i think if you do this automatically it isn't going to work. I think you have to do the manual step like I did. But just follow what I did and it will work. And then we are going to have to wait for it to verify. Again, this can take another five minutes maybe. So I'll be back once this has verified. So about five to ten minutes later, everything is now active. So all we've got to do now is to check it out and see if it's working. So we'll first copy the root domain. We'll go incognito. We'll paste it in. So that seems to be working. No problem. Now we'll copy the domain with www. We'll go incognito, we'll paste it in, and that is also working. So that is how you can connect your port one domain to Cloudflare pages. I hope that video helped you out. Leave a like and comment if it did. Thank you.